That's just the thing. You don't! <laughs> I want to go to an anime convention with this guy. The following game is an erotic horror dating sim meant to blend disturbing and frightening subject matter with arousal and romance. Subject matter can and may include murder, gore, violence, psychological horror, emotional manipulation and abuse, and other generally disturbing materials. Players, please be advised of this and only play with full personal consent. Reproducing any of the scenarios in this game may constitute illegal actions. Do not attempt to seek out relationships of this nature. Murder, emotional manipulation, and other such actions in real-world scenarios is abuse. Minors aged 18 and under are unwelcome to play this game. It is illegal for minors to partake in pornographic and adult sexual content. Ignoring this warning actively puts the game, its community, and its creator in legal and ethical jeopardy. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Jack, I swear, if you're covered with blood, I will scream. So loud. And totally lose my marbles. Come on, you've got work today, you know. Uh... I know that's not an ideal way to start the day, but let's get up and get ahead of it anyways. You're lucky you're very handsome, Jack. Handsome Jack. I'm going to try and play dead, I think. Maybe if I pretend I'm not alive, he'll give up and let me sleep in. I'll quit my job later. Maybe run away with a circus. <laughs> no, me, you can't have more clowns. Or can you? It's a great idea, yes. Oh, you're not going to be stubborn about this today, are you? What you gonna do? Carry me? <sighs> First you steal my jacket. Now you won't get up so I can at least have it back? <laughs> what am I going to do with you? Mm. His jacket? Oh. Well, hello, sir. Upon closer, unconscious inspection, I realize that my blanket is a lot heavier than normal and feels like it's made of something plush and satiny. I open my eyes, sitting on the bed beside me, looming over me like a big dumb sappy tree, is Jack. He looks down, almost adoringly. My heart flutters as he chuckles. He caresses my cheek gently in the world's worst yet most comforting wake-up barrage. Do you have to leave the gloves on, Jack? Actually, yes, leave the gloves on. Hi there. Hi. I stop to realize that I'm in bed, but I don't actually remember going to bed. Jack? Did you do something, Jack? Did you do something to me? What did you do to me, Jack? All I remember was eating takeout on the couch, and then... You dozed off, so I figured I'd help you out a little. I hope that was okay. Sure you did. I didn't want your back to hurt when you woke up. Couches aren't for sleeping, you know. Gosh, I love him. Ah, uh, I love this potential psychopath. But you seemed so snugly with the jacket, I couldn't take it away. Okay, okay, I have your jacket. I have your jacket, Jack. I understand that. I understand. But, um, where's your shirt? Where's your shirt, Jack? And why you just got gloves on? And why you look at me like that? <laughs> Hello there. You've got quite the grip there. Mm. Chest. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. I realize that the jacket, which in hindsight is huge, is draped over me like a shawl. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You want it back, right? Only because we have to get you dressed for today. Otherwise, I promise I'm not mean like that. <laughs> you seemed cold. No. The jacket is very warm. Sleepy me has good taste. I remove the jacket from my body and return it to him. It's really heavy, so I need to use both arms when handing it over. 
What's this full of, Jack? Chainsaws? He puts it on and poses reflectively, his signature piece, returned to him once more. <laughs> Where's your shirt, though? Are you just wearing the jacket without the shirt? Because that'd be nice. <laughs> but he's really bad at keeping a straight face about it. He snickers to himself before giving a little bow. Thank you. He's very polite about the whole affair. I can't help but laugh a little too. But when he extends his hand to take mine, helping me out of bed like it's a pumpkin couch, I feel special and the butterflies kick up again. So, we've got this today, right? Oh, I would love my own multicolored positivity coach. His determination is strong, but kind. I, I think I want to follow his lead. Yeah, we've got this. That's the spirit. Let's start off with something to eat and get you ready to go. Oh, double yeah. Today actually might be a good day after all. Something horrible is going to happen, isn't it? Something utterly horrible, something grossly terrifying is going to happen, isn't it? Something, something bad. It's going to be real bad. It's going to be real bad, isn't it? Something real bad is going to happen. The day goes by pretty quickly. Traffic is somehow less than it was the day before. But I don't complain, because that means plenty of time by myself yet again. Conveniently, nobody seems to have been called in to replace the missing employee who is still out of work. Understaffing sucks. Why do I have to be the one to pick up the slack? So, question. Yes, my dearest. Do you have a favorite flavor? Ooh. Of yogurt? Yeah. Mm, not that I can think of off the top of my head. I get this stuff for free. Um, I am a cheesecake person. I think it was cheesecake. It was either birthday cake or cheesecake. In this yogurt place I went to. I'm pretty much over it now. Uh, I can see that. Alright, well then if you've had so much of it, that makes you an expert in yogurt, right? Yes! Actually, no. <laughs> I suppose so. Yes, I am the yogurt god! <laughs> <laughs> okay then, you're the yogurt god! <laughs> Darn tootin'. Bow to my creamy awesomeness and quiver and fear my low-fat dairy-based content. Ow. I think I might have overdid that. Ow. I think I hurt myself. As well as my non-dairy options, too. They're just looking at me on the camera. Okay, she's insane, but we can't fire her because we're understaffed. Jack watches me, speechless. Obviously in awe. Before he speaks, that is. Hmm, alright. Then let's play a little game. Game? Make me a yogurt using all your yogurt know-how. And let's see how much you've learned about me. What? Wait, seriously? If you really wow me, I'll give you a prize. Oh, goody! Wait, what? Seriously? What? Put mini game. Wait, is this an actual mini game? This is an actual. The best what? kind of prize is a surprise. What kind of prize? <laughs> now I'm eager. Oh, you got games? How do I play? How do I win? How do I win? Actually, I'm not competitive at all. Win, lose. It's all how you play. Ugh, fine. I grab a cup. I've got my eyes on this clown. <laughs> this clown. I'll knock his socks off with the world's best cup of yogurt. All right. Oh. All right. All right. The world's best cup of yogurt needs yogurt first. What kind of yogurt am I going with? Hmm. Mmm, <laughs> cake batter. Mint? Cafe latte. Cake batter. Ah. Uh, yes. Wait, is this for me or for Jack? <laughs> this one seems nice and festive, and the sprinkles in it remind me of Jack. I think he'll appreciate this one. Alright, yogurt is picked out. Now we have to pick a sauce. Hmm, strawberry, rum sauce, definitely not. Cotton candy? Uh, strawberry would work better with this, hmm, but cotton candy seems more like Jack. I do not want to mix cotton candy with cake. That is not a good mm, strawberry. I, I don't know if, if it's correct or not, but you got a cake taste with sprinkles. Cotton candy would be way too sweet for that. That's a different kind of sweet. Strawberry would be would be better. 
<laughs> I don't think this is the right choice. It's so pink and pretty and probably super full of artificial colors and flavors, but who cares? Everyone knows Froyo isn't healthy anyways. It'll be a nice splash of color for this otherwise decent cup. All right, all that's left are the toppings. Gotta make this count. Licorice, get out of my face! Cashews. Cashews, what are cashews? No thank you. Sprinkles! Yeah! Rainbow sprinkles? Is it even Froyo without rainbow sprinkles? I put sprinkles on everything. You should see the ridiculous shaker of sprinkles that I buy for myself. Shut up and get in the cup, you tasteless sugar bits. <laughs> I need you to make this aesthetic AF. I don't know if that's right, but that's the kind of yogurt I would eat. All right, there we go. One yogurt cup filled to the brim with tasty toppings and creams. Finished. I call back to Jack, who pops around inquisitively. Hey, that looks pretty good. You're quite the chef, huh? Mm-hmm. I told you. I'm the yogurt god. I believe you, sunshine. Don't worry. Jack spoons around the decoction. He's very careful to keep it in the bowl. So you can eat. You can consume foods. All right. I trust you. Let's see how you did. He takes a bite. He seems to roll the yogurt over his tongue thoughtfully, but he doesn't seem elated or even excited. What? It's because the cotton candy was in there, isn't it? So... Mm. Uh, how dare you? How dare you insult me? Do I get to try again? It, it's... interesting. Fine. That's the kind of yogurt I would make for myself. I would say it's almost there, but not quite. Alright. I'll see you later then. I'll see you later. What? Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, but I wouldn't want to lie to you. All right. Maybe somebody else would appreciate it. Yeah, me. Can I make can I make ice creams for the other guys? Like, is there an Ian cream and a Sean cream? And eh, maybe not. Oh well. I take the cup and junk it. Better luck next time. No, give it to me. Give it to me. I want it. That was cute. That was really cute. Oh, Jack, quick, someone's coming. Time to do absolutely nothing because no one else can see you. <clears throat> My thoughts are interrupted by a customer at the door. Oh boy, here we go. Welcome one, welcome all to Popov's Big Top Yogatopia! That's still the worst thing I've ever been paid to do in my life. Oh! <laughs> I know. I was here yesterday. This dude's voice! His voice is like Corpse Husband. It just punches you in the chest when you hear. Like, uh, am I blind? Am I... I can't hear anything but his voice. I can't feel my heartbeat. Oh, wait, yeah. This guy does look familiar. You still work here? <laughs> Do I still work here? <laughs> I'm here and in uniform, same as last time. You heard the thing about the thing I said about Popov's big top Yokotopia screams of pain. Cool. Cool. He seems to hover near the counter. He doesn't seem interested in yogurt. I hope he doesn't ask for cookies. I haven't restocked the little shelves today and I don't know where the box cutter is. And I don't want to ask. You uh you got a boyfriend? He said it. He, he said it. He said the thing. I, I really like how they've uh, introduced him and then introduced him again. Just the writing of this game. Mm. Excellent writing. I would read this in a book form. Is there... Is, are they writing a book? I would read this in a book form. Ah, I see. This is where this is going. I... Um... What do you mean? You know, like... A boyfriend. Why'd the music cut out? Why'd the music cut out? Why is there a boss life bar? I don't know whether to be flattered this is happening or terrified this is happening. I'm going to go with terrified for now. Well, I mean, I, uh... Mailed. Mailed! What do I say? What am I supposed to do? You ah. can say yes if you want to.
Jack. Jack. Ooh. Mm. I don't mind, you know. Mm. The way he says it is almost like a whisper in my ear. Uncharacteristically of him, it's like the cherub sweet voice of a devil on my shoulder. Think about it. What this could mean for us. Do you want to say yes? If you want to say yes, you can. It doesn't even have to be a lie. I'll be whatever you want me to be for you. I did promise I'd never leave you, right? Gulp. I can't even stop to look at Jack. I can't acknowledge him without looking outwardly weird, but he's very much there, standing behind me. Is this a leap I dare to take? Uh, um, yes. <laughs> Jack, you get the first playthrough. Sorry. Sorry, cool dude. Sorry, cool dude with the cool deep voice. Sorry. How you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. Yeah. Yeah, I think I will. I lean into my emotions, as small as this may seem. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Sorry. Oh, man. That sucks. Yeah, that guy was totally gonna get killed or something. Hey, hey, dude, I just saved your life, basically, probably, maybe. He hangs his head a little and just walks off. I mean, I don't know what he was expecting. I'm proud of you. Oh, I wasn't talking about you, Jack. You, just because I said I have a boyfriend, you think I'm talking about you? <laughs> no. Got like 50, maybe 60 of them. Yeah, 60. Look at that smile. He knows what he did. You know what you did, Jack. You cutie pie. I feel a soft, firm hand rest around me. Hey, that was a lot. I understand. You did so good, though. You know, admitting your feelings is the first step. It's not always easy, but it's good for you. The first step in what, though? The first step in really staying with me. Forever. As I said before, what do you mean forever, Jack? Are you gonna are you gonna do some ghost magic and put me inside the tape with you? Forever? Is that what you mean, Jack? Is that what's going on here, Jack? Because I don't like that, Jack. I don't want to be in the tape, Jack. I don't want to be in the tape. Don't put me in the tape. You do want that, don't you? Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. As long as it does not involve me getting, like, my soul put in a tape or something. So what does this mean? It means... well... I guess it means that we're really together now, hmm? He smiles, innocently. You mean, like, a couple? If you want it, we can be. Hmm. Aww. I feel stupid and blushy, the way he cocks his head like a puppy at that sentiment. Oh wow, this is just really happening. Can I ask you to do something for me? Absolutely. Oh wait, he's gonna he's gonna make me say it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Can you say it? I'd like to hear you say it, just so I know for real. Aww. Because from what little I understand of the story, he was like completely abandoned or something. I love you. Yeah, but for me, if it's okay, you know? I don't know. I'm going to have to ask uh, Peter and Alan and Doe and, let's see, Don and Ginichimaru and Hazama. And I'm going to have to ask my 60 husbands, you know, if, if it's okay, you know. He says it's okay to say it. So I guess at this point I might as well. Right? I love you, Jack. He softens to the point of looking like he's going to melt. Just like that. Oh, Did I, did I unknowingly sign some kind of contract or something? Some kind of clown ghost contract? Before I knew what's what, he leans in and gives me a quick but sweet kiss. It's almost bashful, but... 
It's genuine, and it feels so real against my lips that even after he's pulled away, I can still feel them. He looks away, a bit shy about it, all, I figure. You know, maybe this is a bit silly to admit, but some part of me was hoping you felt that way. Nobody will understand what we have, but that's okay. All that matters is how I make your heart feel. It feels good right now, doesn't it? Good is an understatement. I'm nervous and excited, and... Ah. I don't have time to think anymore about it before another customer comes in. Mailed. Welcome one, welcome all to pop off the big top top forever. <laughs> I get to doing my job. At that point, out of the corner of my eye, Jack still lingers. There's nothing really left to say. Nothing that can be given the proper attention that it deserves like this, that is. The rest of the day goes by quietly. There's a silent anticipation to pick up the conversation in a more private environment later. I can't help but feel odd when I'm grounded in reality. The things I can see and hear and touch for myself. At the moment, Jack is all I can see. He's the most real thing there is. But after that, when anything else has my attention, I can see the utter ludicrousness of the situation. Is it intoxicating? Is that what this is? What is this dreamy haze that I find myself consumed by when it comes to him? And I still don't quite know what he is. No. No, I really shouldn't be giving him this kind of power over me. Why not? <laughs> Jack! If it feels good, then it must be good for you. Jack, come on now. As an educator, you should know that that's, that's, not a, that's not an accurate statement. So many people walk around so sad and unhappy. You don't want to end up like them, do you? Someday, you'll know why I'm doing this. I sure hope so. But for now, trust me when I say that it's all for you. I do it because I care about you. I never want you to be alone. And have I ever lied to you? The voice, the voice sounded like it was getting closer. <laughs> I get home around seven at night. The day saw little fanfare overall, but I had to do all of Carol's usual chores. Those took a little longer than expected because she never does them to begin with. I'm dead tired when I get in through the door. Oh god, I want to die. Is it too late to die now? I am ready for death. <clears throat> I flop onto the couch with little hesitation or regard for the mass that makes up my body. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. No. When I look up from the cushion I was mashing my face into, I see Jack knelt next to me. Yep, he's still just as vividly technicolored as ever. Oh. What I'm not ready for is when he actually does yet another thing I had no idea he could do. He scoops me up into his arms and holds me. Let's just, let's just appreciate the, the brilliant artistry of this image and refrain from staring dreamily into Jack's eyes. Huh? What? 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 How? What's, go what's going on here? What? Playing the game? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bridal style and all. Ah, wait a second. What? I'm I'm tired, but I can walk at the very least. I know. I just figured. I know I couldn't really help you do all that much today. This is the least I could do. I'm suspicious. I don't know why, but I'm suspicious. Maybe. Even with as nice as he is, I'm not used to the idea of trusting another person enough to let them do this kind of thing. But then again, this is Jack. Sunny Day Jack. He's not the kind of guy to just drop you, or hurt you, or throw you, is he? My thoughts are interrupted by a peck on the cheek, courtesy of the blue-haired beau currently holding me. 
Having you all to myself is nice too. Hmm. I try not to squirm or squeak as he plants one more kiss on the base of my neck. Jack! What? You don't like it? He doesn't move. He mumbles into my skin. N no, it's just- Remember, I can't do anything you don't want me to. He kisses upward, slowly and tenderly. My hands grip the collar of his jacket as I attempt to persuade him away. Uh, okay, yeah, I know, but not here. He stops, for now, smiling down at me. He doesn't even seem phased by the request. As you wish. Mm. Just because he stops kissing, though, doesn't mean he puts me down entirely. Jack carries me, coat and bag and all, to the bedroom. He's carrying me to the bedroom! I try not to let my mind race with all the implications. I feel miserably when I consider the fact he's strong enough to carry me. The way his lips were warm and yet wet against my skin. The way his dark, doe-like eyes look down at me. When we get in through the door, I feel like a steam engine with a boiler fit to burst at the seams. He doesn't turn on the light. I honestly don't mind. The brightness would have blinded me. That's all right, though. Through it all, I've had my own source of sunlight. Oh god, I'm doing it now, too! Hey. Hey. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Good. There's silence. It's not awkward or anything, but there's anticipation. Jack lays me on the bed, and seeing how in this moment, despite his kindness and his cheery facade... I can't help but back away in awe and intimidation. He's tall, but from this angle, he's tall. Like the gentle giant he is, though, he does stoop down to my level. His expression is empathetic, concerned, but adoring. But the sweetness of his face is accented with his presence as he slides into bed alongside me. This is okay, right? Yes. Yeah. I felt the warmth spread through my chest. It bubbled up and rose like lava in a lava lamp before sinking back down into my core. There was something unspoken there between us at that moment. This feeling. It had to be love. Yes. This is love. This is how it feels. This is how I have been feeling for you. I'm so proud of you. You worked so hard for so long, but now you don't have to work hard anymore. We can do this together. Be together. He seemed to give an amused chuckle before placing another kiss on my cheek. Don't worry. I'll still be here when you wake up. I promise. I'll never leave you, my love. He says it's a promise, but that's probably a threat. I won't ever leave you. That's definitely a threat. With his gentle words, I let myself slip off to sleep. My eyelids heavy and my body drained and worn. I never want him to leave. Ever. And I don't think he will, me. Blech. The sun is back, with a vengeance. It jabs through my eyelids like a crowbar, not causing them to open, but disturbing my sleep. That and those darn birds are back, chirping and being all cheery and stuff. Ugh. Fudge it. I don't want to move. I'm utterly exhausted anyways, and warm. And for once, it's not because of blankets or a heater or the sun. I feel Jack's arm strewn over me, heavy and muscular as it is. He doesn't need to even hold on to me. He'd be able to keep me there, like that. But he holds on tightly anyways. I can feel his bare chest moving against mine, his legs sandwiched between mine, just like mine is between his. I don't think you could get any closer with someone. It's almost silly to be like this with him. He's asleep, I gather. 
Can he even sleep? Well, he can eat, so... What are the rules here? He's not moving, and he's not waking me up. But I don't need to check. I'm not ready to open my eyes just yet. Let me stay here with him. Forever. Ah! Or not. Ah! Yep, that's the front door. At this point, reality has set in. Reluctantly, I sit up, or do my best to. Jack clings onto me like a child. Where are you going? Hmm. Gonna have to censor that up a bit. It's... It's still pretty early, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, but that might be something important. I guess. Sleepy baby. Oh, He sits up with me. He stays in bed while I go throw on my pajamas. I don't bother with the undergarment portions. This might just be the male guy after all. Or the milkman. <laughs> I'll be back, okay? He yawns and stretches and nods. Uh, of course. <sighs> I'll be here. Yes, Jack, I know. You'll be here. Forever. I leave him to his own devices, gunning through the kitchen and to the front door. I'm coming! I shout through the door, swinging it open without a second thought. It's about time! Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, mailed! Sean! Sean? Yeah? Who else? <laughs> Goodness, I think he got nougat heart, too. He stands there, coolly. A duffel bag, a plastic carrier, and backpack in tow. Look at him. Isn't he adorable? That's a nice shirt. I like that shirt. That's a cute top. Let me borrow that top. Don't worry. I got most of my stuff in storage. I just need a few things. I'm in the middle of a production, so I couldn't put everything away. Right, right. I completely forgot. I'd said Sean could stay with me for a bit while he looks for a place in my area. And he was supposed to be coming today. Jesus Cristo, I fluff that up nicely. Hey, you okay? Yeah. What do you mean? Just there's bags under my eyes and my hair's all messy. I, um, wrestled a bear. You look like you're about to fall asleep on me. <laughs> well, yeah, what are you, like, here at six in the morning? I don't get up that early. Fluff. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, I, I just woke up, sorry. You didn't forget I was coming today, did you? Yeah, no. No. What makes you think that? That's that's the silly thing to say. Jeez, nice to know you're still a total space case, huh? <laughs> he laughs it off like it's nothing. Thank God. Listen, seriously, thanks for helping me out here. I promise, I've already got showing set up, and I'll be doing a lot of shooting during the day, so hopefully I'll be gone most of the day, too. I'll be out of your hair in no time. I don't know how to casually say that he's welcome in my hair whenever he wants, for as long as he wants. He's probably the best roomie I've ever had. But also... Meow meow? Meow meow? 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 The plastic carrier Sean is carrying stirs as he sits down cautiously on the couch. Does he have a kitty? Meow? <laughs> oh, little baby. You're all shook up, huh? It's okay, Daddy's still here. Oh, <gasps> Here comes the boy! Oh, that's what the 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 the what the what the what the Little Moon Pie was his personal triumph, in that regard. And I remember hearing all about it when he first brought her home. Moon Pie, aww. She was blind, but she was chatty, and she was soft. Aww. Are you sure your landlord doesn't mind? I know this is all super sudden, but I don't want you to get in trouble for my sake. Is Kitty staying here? Jack, you better not touch this kitty. You can murder all these guys, but you better not touch this kitty cat. No, she should be fine. You just make sure to get her a proper litter box later. I draw the line at sharing poop duty. Damn. Fair, but also... Damn. <laughs> yeah! Kitties are serious business. 
Moon Pie pitters out and gets to sniffing around. Sean gives her a head pat, but otherwise lets her start exploring. As her fuzzy little butt disappears around a corner, I lean against the doorway for support. So, besides the cat, what else is new? You, uh, still trying to do that one horror movie you were telling me about? Sean scoffs, teasingly, as he unzips one of his bags and begins rifling through it. <coughs> um, I have several. You're going to have to be more specific. <laughs> My brain is still not fully functioning, as I retrieve the context necessary to process what he's saying to me. Right. I was degree hopping around that time, but Sean was going in for film, wasn't he? Sean and I went to college together, but he actually had a passion for his degree. We hung out a lot, especially when Ian first moved away and things got a bit lonely. But then one of his short films got popular online. He started making movies, and now, well, he does it for a living. Good for him. And that's as much context as I can process right now. I'm tired and sans caffeine. Dude, I feel like ten butts right now. Cut me some slack. Well, hey, that makes two of us. <laughs> ten butts. I just got off an eight-hour plane ride. <laughs> I'm just better at pretending to be human than you. <laughs> it's true, he is. I one time saw him pull an all-nighter, then get up and head to class in the same clothes as the day before. Then he bought me lunch, like I was the one who needed it. Maybe it's because you watch all that horror stuff. How do I even know that you don't watch those as examples of what not to do? That's just the thing. You don't! <laughs> I love that line so much. I stifle a laugh as he chokes to death, then resumes his act. He faints onto the couch, clutching his chest dramatically. Ah, uh, but being an immortal creature of the night comes at a price. I love this guy. I want to hang out with this guy. I want to go to an anime convention with this guy. A hefty price. Oh no! What? Like, your soul? Actually, more like a cortado, three vanilla bean scones, and a panini. Mmm, a vanilla bean scone. And you have to eat half the panini because I'm not feeling a whole panini. <laughs> but I'll feel bad if I have to throw it away. Oh, so like 1367? Yes, because you forgot I was coming. Yes. Wow, immortality sure is cheap. Remind me why anyone bothers looking for the Holy Grail. Beats me. Lack of originality. Lazy writers. I love this guy. We both laugh some more about it. God, this is... It's like old times. It's refreshing. How are you holding up? Hmm? What do you mean? After... You know... We do not say his name in this house! He is that which will not be spoken of! You, uh... Ever figure that out? Well... well... I know things got really busy all of a sudden, and... I've missed you. Aww. But... I don't know. Maybe I'm just being silly about it. I really should have been there more for you. Aw, dude, don't say that. You were doing so well. You had your dream come true. Who cares about a little petty gossip? It's not petty gossip. It's important to you. And you're important to me. Oh no. Oh no. I'm sorry I left you here to deal with this. And I don't care if you care or not. I want to make it up to you while I'm here. Hmm. His sincerity rings true, but beyond his tone, this was the guy who held me when I cried, had couch sleepovers with me when I refused to sleep in my big bed alone. He was the only one I had back then. Please let me make it up to you. Oh no. His pupils dilate, his trademark kitty face. Please. Oh no. Sean, wait. Don't do this. But... you've given me so many ear scritches! This is definitely someone I would have been friends with in high school. 
I just want to give you one in the heart. <laughs> just is is he purring? Man after my own heart. Man after my own heart. I can't do this. I cannot fight the urge. When he opens his arms, I grab the goth butterball and scoop him up. Or try to. He does most of the scooping. And with that, the duo is reunited. Oh, Thanks for coming. No matter why you came, thank you. You're welcome. Forever and always. Oh. Forever, huh? I'd, I'll have to chalk that up with my boyfriend. Who's this? <laughs> Jack? Phew. Mm. Just everyone, everyone who worked on this game, I don't know if you guys are ever going to see this video, but just, I applaud you. Out of all the visual novel games that I've played, this one just... Oh, I love playing this one so much. The art is superb. The voice acting is amazing. Everything is written so well. It's like, it's creepy. It's erotic. I don't know how scary it's gonna get. But just, oh, I am... I am very lucky to have played this. And thank you all for watching. Uh, if you can, uh, this studio, this this group has a pay. Earlier tonight, local police detained a young man, now identified as 25-year-old Nick Herrera, after receiving multiple calls from concerned individuals who had seen him running through the street, barefoot and wailing in anguish. Herrera was found outside of an apartment complex and attempted to flee when approached. However, he was seemingly unable to even walk in a straight line. When asked. Law enforcement was unable to link Herrera's condition to illicit substances and found no traces of drugs or other inhibitors at the scene or at Herrera's home two miles away. Herrera has been sedated and hospitalized to treat gashes on his face, described as likely self-inflicted and claw-like. Witnesses claim the young man had been screaming and rambling for over an hour, mentioning nightmares and bad dreams, begging an unknown entity to make them go away. Law enforcement has made no comment as to Herrera's fate after his treatment. But when speaking to family members, they offered the following comment. We are shocked and frankly terrified by this. Nick has always been kind, compassionate, and above all, quiet. Our hearts bleed to think that he may have been long enduring some unknown torment which could drive him to such a state. It's the only explanation for such a drastic change of demeanor. Oh! Oh, Jack, Sonny, Sonny Jack, Sonny Jack, my dear, what did you do to that boy? What did you do to that boy, Jack? Oh, oh, that's pretty spooky. That's pretty spooky right there. Poor Nick. Guess we won't be hearing his voice no more. Or maybe Will, he's not dead, he's just, you know, driven insane. I'm guessing Jack did that. I, uh, I am unsettled. My jimmies are rustled. So I will definitely go back and choose some different options to see what happens. Uh, keep, keep in mind, I'm saying it again with the warning up here, that this is an erotic game. I have chopped out a huge chunk of the, uh, erotic scenes. But, uh, I'm going to, um... Take a little break, maybe lay down, maybe lock my doors, even though I don't think a locked door would protect me from a love-struck ghost clown. So I will have to find out what this is later, maybe in the next video. So if you like this video, then please let Algorithm Senpai know by clicking the like button. And if you really want to, you can subscribe to my channel so you can get future updates. Or even go back and watch my previous Sunny Day Jack videos so you can see the differences between this version and the original version. But, above all things, take care of yourself, have a great night, and remember, there's always hope.